Many Iowans became familiar with Rita Hart when she ran for Lieutenant Governor with Fred Hobble two years ago. My uh, background is in education and agriculture. I uh, grew up on a um, dairy farm up in North Central Iowa. Um, had the great, I tell people I had the great advantage of um, being raised by a really strong Democratic father and a really strong Republican mother with eight brothers and sisters um, who on a dairy farm where we learned to not only to work hard, but to um, pay attention to the issues of the day. And, and so that was a great upbringing. We bought our farm in 1986, raised our five children here while I taught school and we farmed. And then in uh, um, 2012, ran for the state Senate and served as a senator for six years, um, representing all of Clinton County and part of Scott County before running for lieutenant governor in, in 2018. You know, my background um, on the farm my entire life, um, I understand rural um, economic development as a state senator. I centered in on that, so I have that kind of experience of working with uh, people again across the aisle to um, concentrate on the things that are really gonna make a difference when it comes to um, raising, raising uh, people's incomes and, and addressing the issues that we need to do to um, help rural, rural parts of the, of the country, in this case, rural Iowa succeed as a mother of five children and a grandmother. Uh, these are all, this is all a good fit for this kind of district to be a voice and to and to more importantly um, be the kind of uh, leader that listens to the people of the district and allows them to um, help be help educate me and uh, do the things that we need to do together um, that's going to make a difference in people's lives. Hart says growing up with a Republican mother and a Democratic father taught her early on how to compromise what she says is desperately needed in Washington. Cynthia Fodor, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader. Tomorrow night on the News at 6, hear from Hart's Republican opponent, State Senator Marionette Miller.